All right, bees, good morning. So, no time to mess about today. We're starting and getting all the beehive service. There is plenty of bees up here where the feeder is. So, what that means is that they're hungry, right? So, we're going to remove the feeder. I'm going to check on all of them. By the way, this is our strongest beehive, you remember? Okay, so what we have here today, I have my smoker. I have the medicine and I have the syrup down there, yeah? Whoa, it's noisy. Oh my days. Whew. Yeah, all right. Okay. See what's going on here now. What I'm interested in is this frame right here. Let's see how it's doing. What do we have here? They are hungry man. They've not been building but also it's that time. It's that time of the year where they're almost done, you know, building. So now they focus on collecting pollen and nectar for the winter. Here we are. Let's check out this one. I have a really good idea of what's going on with these beehives. Whoa, that is heavy, fam. Whoa. Look at that, eh? God dang. Can you see all the honey? And right there in the middle is eggs, which very soon are about to hatch. They're looking all very nice and healthy, but my days, they've got plenty of honey around here. And eggs at the bottom. Fantastic. Beautiful. Can't want more than that from these guys. You are doing an excellent job, my friend. So what the plan is for this beehive, right? Because it is incredibly strong and they've got plenty of like eggs and everything, right? So what I plan on doing is this week i'm going to identify the weakest you know beehive uh, so i'm going to take a frame with eggs which are just about to hatch and i'm actually going to spray them with the medicine so they lose their pheromones and i'm going to transfer it to a weaker beehive and i'm actually going to move them with the actual bees on the frame not just the eggs so that way rather than having extremely strong you know families and weaker ones we're gonna level them out and come 2024 we're gonna have a good you know a very good apiary with only strong families yeah that's what we want now we're gonna use the medicine in here that goes in between the frames yeah The reason why it goes in between the frames is because we want it to also go on to go on to the actual eggs. So it's it's kinda we're not only treating the bees but we're also treating you know the future bees as well. Look at it this way. And we go into almost there. There we go. Here we have it go place the feeder precisely and up syrup and slowly not too much not too little yeah here we go
was it. Not much to do on this one, but service. Hey guys, do you remember this beehive? Yes, that's right. That is the swarm that we caught, and um, you know it's always going to have a special place in my heart. And I thought I'm going to share the moments with you and open up the beehive with you guys. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. See how these guys are doing. Right. There is not much activity up here. It's interesting. All right, okay. Whew. I'm not gonna bash you around, I'm just gonna leave you down. Right, let's have a look now, see what's going on here. So these guys are sitting on eight frames, which is quite nice. The last one that I've put, they haven't done much on it, in terms of building it. Nah, they have barely touched it. Nah, they've done nothing here. So that's just gonna be left as it is. Let's see what these guys are up to towards the towards the middle. I've noticed that all of the bees have shifted focus. So they've transcended into the period of the year where you know they stop building, stop you know laying eggs that much. And right now their focus is predominantly on collecting and producing honey. I've come across quite a few beehives where they've had like you know two or three frames you know full of honey and only honey and most of it was sealed off what i mean by being sealed off you see all you know towards the top end here all of that is honey yeah and you see the white ceiling on top that is what i mean when the, when i say the honey is being sealed off yeah that is in order to preserve it here we go, we're gonna please these guys back in there. So we've had honey, no eggs on this one, which is interesting. But again, as I say, it's that time of the year. Let's have a look. Okay. So you see we have eggs here. We have plenty of honey. Very interesting the way they've done it though. There's plenty of unsealed eggs as well. They seal off everything, they seal the honey, they seal the eggs. Okay. Oh wow, there's so much eggs there. Alright, these guys are going to hatch soon. So, right now it does seem a little bit quiet in here. But in about a couple of weeks time at the most, all of them eggs are going to hatch. Alright, move a little bit, yeah. There we go. Push it to the side. Now we're gonna have to treat them with the good old medicine. Literally have to bathe them in it and they love it. This is like a cold shower during a very hot summer. Love. Perfect. Now I'm going to have to bash you guys, because look at what's going on there. If I try and put it on like this, yeah, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to smash someone, and I, and I hate smashing bees, man. Alright, there you go. Most of them is gone. Alright, close off. And that. Time to feed them. It. That is that. 